Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use if conditions and what are if conditions in C. So, as the name suggests, if condition or if statements check the condition, whether it's true or false, and on the basis of the condition, it executes some code or it will not execute some other code, okay? So how we can declare if condition. Now I will give you an example first. For example, we want that we want to check some person's age and if this age is equal to 18, we want to print that the age is 18. If this age is greater than 18, we want to print that the age is greater than 18. And if this age is smaller than 18, then also we want to print that this age is smaller than 18. So how we can do this? We can do this by if conditions. Now to uh, write if condition, the structure looks like this. You need to use this if statement or if, if keyword and then these two brackets. And inside these two brackets comes your uh, condition. So this condition can be true or false. So we evaluate our condition inside this bracket. Okay. And then in these curly brackets, we execute some code on the basis of the, uh, you know, validity of this condition. If this condition is true, the code inside these curly braces will be exec executed otherwise this code will not be executed now let's see how we can uh, check the age of some person now for taking the age from uh, the user at runtime we use scan f and you know i have uh, al also you know shown that this scan f you can use to take the inputs from the user right so i will just tell the user first by printing this message that please enter the age and in using the scan f i will take this input and because this age is an integer i will use this modulus d to take the integer and then comma then the age okay but the correct way of using scan f with any value is to use this and the symbol before your value variable name and what this and symbol indicate is the address of this value okay so in somewhere in your computer memory your variable will be stored okay and whenever you write this and in your uh, before your variable name it indicates that you are uh, you are scanning the address of this variable okay so whenever some user will enter some value it will be stored at this address and we can access this uh, age value after that so uh, whenever i will execute this program you will uh, understand it better so it will take the input and depending upon the age the user has entered for example the age if the age is greater than 18 or 18 we will print that the age is so if the age is greater than 18 we are checking the some condition here this is our condition age, age is greater than 18 and in here we are going to print or execute some code. For example, printing something that the age is greater than 18. Greater than 18. Okay. Now, for example, we want to check that if the age is equal to 18, then we can use some more if conditions. So if the age is equal to 18. Now to uh, calculate or to compare equal to, 
we need to use double equal sign because when if you use single equal to sign it will assign 18 to age but we want to compare these two values uh, and to compare these two values we use double equal to here okay now if the age is equal to 18 then we will print the age is equal to 18 okay equal to 18 and here greater than now for example we want to check if the age is less than 18 once again we can use this by if condition and this time we check if the age is less than and less than symbol is this one less than okay if the age is less than then just write less then okay so we are going to check these three conditions if this condition is true this will be executed if this condition is true this one if age is it equal to 18 then this will be uh, executed otherwise if this condition is true then this code will be executed so th this is condition based uh, code execution I will build uh, the program and run the program and first of all we are going to see this message please enter the age and we are going to enter the age so it says please enter the age I'm going to enter the age for example I enter the age 21 21 is greater than 18 so we are expecting this message to be executed be and because these condition are not met match then these code or these printf messages will not be printed so let's see the output just write 21 and press enter and it says age is greater than 18 which is true age the age is greater than 18 so this condition is true that's why we can see this message and because this condition age is not equal to 18 21 is not equal to 18 then this one is not ex executed and 21 is not less than 18 so this condition is not executed as well but 21 is greater than 18 so this condition is true and this message will be printed now let's try to run this program once again now this time we will uh, enter 18 okay and now this time we can see the message the age is equal to 18 okay so age is equal to 18 because 18 is equal to 18 this condition is true and this is printed and other conditions are not true so their code is not executed once again we enter the age 15 and the third condition is true this time age is less than 18 15 is less than 18 so it says pr the age is less than 18 which is this message so in this way you can use if conditions in C I hope you have understood this concept please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now